10 billion years ago, deep in the Andromeda galaxy, any life looking up in the sky would have seen not one, but two lights in their sky. The first would be their local star as expected. The second would come from a much more distant source, the black hole at Andromeda's heart. See, 10 billion years ago was cosmic high noon, a period of intense star formation and also a time when most galactic nuclei were active. It's the supermassive black holes that drive those nuclei, and if they're big enough, they become classified as quasars. If you don't remember from my previous video on the subject, a quasar is what happens when a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy devours as much matter as it possibly can, causing such intense friction with such enormous heat that it outshines its host galaxy. So what would an alien on a distant Andromedan world a few tens of thousands of light years from their galactic core see in the sky? To put some numbers on it, let's suppose they're the same distance from their core as we are from ours. Now, there's a pretty consistent correlation between quasar brightness and the mass of the black hole powering it. They average about 20% as bright as they possibly can be, with the upper limit being set by the Eddington limit. Basically, if it's emitting too much light, that light might blow away the matter it's trying to consume, reducing the amount of light emitted. It's a negative feedback loop. Anyway, for Andromeda's black hole with a mass of 140 million times the mass of the Sun, we can estimate that it would be about a trillion times brighter than our Sun. But it would be about 30,000 light years away from our alien planet, which means that from our alien's perspective, it would be about 4 million times dimmer than the Sun. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but it would be the brightest star in the sky. It's about 6 times dimmer than a full moon, and a bit more than 100 times brighter than Venus. You'd easily be able to see this during the day, except perhaps when the local star was too nearby and glare blocked your view. And at night, the quasar would cast obvious shadows, and after your eyes adjusted, you should be able to read a novel. I wonder what stories such aliens would write.